Hi, it's Matt Phillips here, another student in the Ask Method Masterclass. And the reason for today's video, well, if you've wondered about whether a membership site would be the right option for you in terms of how to deliver your content to people, um, for your, you know, your students, your customers, then that's what this video is about. Um, I noticed in previous discussion, this was a few months ago, um, there were quite a few people asking me about what I was doing with Thrive Themes and Thrive Apprentice. Uh, because I'd recently switched over to that, I'd struggled with a lot of different platforms, um, which in many cases are really great. Um, but the particular way I wanted to deliver stuff and the way I wanted it to work, it just wasn't working. And the particular payment processes I wanted to use, etc. So I ended up changing things up and I wanted to share with you today where I ended up. Because um, I think it might help a few other people as well. Um, yes, before I get started today, I did want to also say thank you very much to the Ask team. Big thank you, Ryan and all the Ask mentors and everyone on the team, and of course, the rest of you guys in the community. Um, so much of what I've learned has um, really helped me, my transition into doing this full time. So now I support the family just by, um, I guess, digital entrepreneurship, you could say. And yeah, it's really exciting. Um, so thank you very much for everyone's help to get me, um, you know, to help me get to where I am now. Um, so yeah, and much of what I'll share today, hopefully that'll help you a bit as well in terms of, you know, how I'm marketing things as well. So, overall I use, what is it, one, two, three, four, five systems really that I want to show you today, but I'm going to do it very uh, broad brush. It's not meant to replace the tutorial videos on, you know, in Thrive Themes on how to use Thrive Apprentice or anything like that. I just wanted to show you how I'm doing it. Um, might help you give a context, get a context for it or see how, um, you know, different systems can all fit together. So, um, the five things are Thrive Themes to build out my website, which you can see here, and which is a WordPress site. So for those that aren't familiar, Thrive Themes is a, um, a theme. I'm gonna get confused if I start talking about child themes, but for people who know what it means, I'm using Squared Theme within Thrive Themes and I'm using the Apprentice plugin as my uh, membership uh, content. So it's Thrive Themes, Thrive Apprentice for the membership content. And then I'm using Wishlist Member, which is a membership site to control access. So it's a, uh, an important note there that you can't just use Thrive Apprentice on its own. If you're going to restrict access to certain areas of your site, you do need another plugin. I use Wishlist Member, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, I also use Infusionsoft as my autoresponder. And the sales cart I use is Thrive Cart. Um, just to point out another confusing point, Thrive Cart is not related in any way to Thrive Themes. It's just a coincidence. Um, but it's cool that I'm using lots of Thrive stuff. Um, so overall, the way it works, I'll show you the website very quickly. Um, here is the business. Uh, this is called Defense Ready. And this is what I, uh, I, I provide support to people preparing for exams for the Australian Defense Force. So we don't know. This is just off the cuff here, so I'll try not to get bogged down in anything here too much. But effectively on this page here, oh, we're going to go down, we can see the sales options here, um, different ways, and they go through to a Thrivecart system. So I could choose to uh, purchase one of these systems here, and that will go through to my Thrivecart checkout page here. Okay, I'm just going to go back there. Sorry, that's probably a poor example, that one. It's one of the confusing checkout pages I'm trying to fix. Um, so, so they did an upfront option here. That's gonna be a bit more clear. Okay, so there we go. And they'll go through here. There's an upsell sequence there. And then they get an email automatically with their access to their account. So this is one of the reasons I use Thrivecart. So very quickly within Thrivecart to show you what that looks like in the back end here. Um, you can set up your product, your order bump, customize your checkout page. And then I have custom emails through Infusionsoft, depending if they abandon the checkout page or if they complete the product. So then they get a, a custom email. So in this case here, the pilot course, you can see in here, my Infusionsoft campaign that uh, they, here we go, purchase general, officer general, oh, that should be pilot one of those. Here we go, pilot, this is pilot one. And they just get tagged so I know how to identify them. They get taken out of other sequences and then they get another thank you email from me, separate to the automatic one that gives them their access. So when I talk about that automatic email, the reason is because with the product, the fulfillment, one of the platforms that Thrive Cart integrates with is Wishlist. 
So with wishlist member, they automatically get an email and they automatically get added to the site. So they purchase the product. What happens then is they go into, you see here in my plugin wishlist member, and if I click the members page there, you'll see all the various members that have signed up for the course. And this whole dashboard area here with the different levels and things like that, that's the wishlist member area. Okay, so here I set, I've got, the only ones I'm gonna talk about for example is the pilot entry, just because I'm gonna use that as an example. So here's a pilot entry level, that's part of the wishlist member plugin. So pilot entry access level. If you just remember that, it'll make sense in a minute when I explain Thrive Apprentice, which is the whole point of this video. So they have that access there. Now in my WordPress menu, there's a section called Apprentice Pages and Apprentice Lessons. So these are the separate pages. Technically, they are the Apprentice Lessons are posts, um, but they are separate to other posts and pages on the website. They just work with Apprentice. So within these, for example, if I have a look at all the lessons, within each page, you can control which people have access to what. So for example, I'll show you one page here, which is going to be um, lessons. So say for example, the mathematics area. So if I edit that, you can see in here, right down the bottom, there'll be my wishlist member area. It says, do you want to protect this content? Yes. Okay. And who has access to it? I want these three levels to have access to it. These people don't have access to it, and that's how you control the access to it. So that's the access control. So with all that context, that's how we end up with Thrive Apprentice. So Apprentice is just how you build the actual membership site. So we will now get into, I'll now get into showing you how the membership site works now that you've given, now you've got a quick overview of how the customers actually get there. Again, the main point of this video is I just wanted to show you um, how they get to the membership site and basically what it looks like. Um, just an example of a Thrive Apprentice membership site built out. It's not the only way you can do it. That's the good thing with Thrive Apprentice. You're just using the page builder so you can build it in very different ways. So I'm just gonna show you now. We're just gonna jump in here. Um, so within my pages here, we will have the dashboard. I'm gonna jump onto that page there. Now, cause I'm an admin on the site, I have access to everything. One of the weird things uh, to point out with Thrive Apprentice is that you have these areas called categories, which are like your menu headers. So when someone logs in, it opens up every single one. So you get this really long list. So people have mentioned in the forums, it would be good if they actually started like this and it was closed because it would make it a lot easier to you know, get your head around when you were first coming in. Um, but a couple of cool things I want to point out. One is this button here. This would say, welcome back to whoever's name is. Um, and then they click that button and it actually takes them to the last lesson they were working on. Or if they've never been in the site before, it'll actually say something different. And it says, um, you know, welcome back, Matt, click here to get started. And they click the button, it automatically takes them to the first lesson. Um, so that's pretty cool. So within the menus, so this, you can see I've just built this as text with, you know, a couple of columns here. And these go to different pages with quizzes on them. Okay, or you can even have it go to an external site if you needed to. A um, couple other features that work in this is that you've got this little circly thing going, showing you that's the mem the um, that's the <laughs> the lesson you're in. Now these other ones all have green ticks because I've done them all, but normally they'll show up as grayed out until you've actually done them, or they even discern whether you've opened it and completed it, or whether you've just opened it. So um, you know, because you can actually mark it as complete, it'll look different. So for example, if I go into this abstract reasoning one here, uh, mark that as complete. I don't know if this is going to work. And then I go back to another lesson. Yeah, see how that's now white tick? So the white tick's denoting that you've actually completed it. The green tick is that I've just opened it. And there's another symbol if you haven't opened it, but I've already opened everything, so I can't unopen it. So I can't show you that one. Um, so that's how it works. Um, so there's other cool things you can do within it, which are, for example, if I didn't have um, if I didn't have access to everything in the additional pilot testing, if I clicked that button, because none of this would be here, the category would be here, I could put in a button on this page um, as an upgrade. So in fact, that's what they see at the moment, sorry. So this, if I didn't have access to all this pilot material, all I would see is this button here, pilot course upgrade. 
from the officer level entry, for example, and then they can actually add to cart within the membership site. And surprise, surprise, that goes back to my Thrivecart system. And that will add on, when they complete that purchase, another membership level. So that's a really cool thing with Wishlist Member, which is why I use it as well. You can have multiple membership levels. So instead of you know one level having to replace another level, which for me is unnecessarily complicated, you can set it up so they just have more memberships that added as they purchase additional products. So um, having said that, um, within Thrivecart, they do have this cool feature where um, with the, the order bump, uh, I'll see if I can get it to show. No, I'm gonna mess with it, hand fulfillment. Yeah, now with the, uh, the upsell sequence, you can actually have it, so say they've bought a particular level and then they upgrade in the upsell sequence, you can have it replace what the membership level would have been at the start so they get the correct level to start with but that's a little feature of Thrivecart. Um, now I've lost the membership site. There it is, right. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. Um, you can also do some other things that are standard in membership areas, like you can have previous lesson, next level navigation. Um, you don't have to have those, you can get rid of them. You can have mark as a favorite on a lesson. Okay, and what happens there whoop, is, um, you have to click somewhere else for it to take effect. Right down the bottom of the page, you can set up your footer to have recent lessons and favorite lessons as an extra navigational tip, for example. So that's the way that works. Another cool thing about uh, Thrive Apprentice is you can actually set a custom header. So you'll see this here, it says Defense Ready Member Area. Normally you can see the whole thing, it's just because uh, I'm in as admin. So uh, one thing to note actually, you possibly need a plugin I had someone help me out with WordPress. If you're running members on WordPress, you don't want them to see this menu up here. Um, so there's a plugin, uh, I'll put it in the comments if anybody's interested, just ask me as to how to get rid of that for certain member levels. Um, anyway, so it's the site looks different for members even though it's the same website. So I don't have to build a separate domain or a separate membership site. It's all within the one um, dashboard, if you like. So that's a really quick overview of how it works and um, what I've done with Thrive Apprentice. I know there's possibly a million questions. I've, you know, I've, it's a very general overview, but I wanted to quickly share how I've built that out. And um, so yeah, one extra thing I wanted to say is that sometimes people look at membership sites and you know, like my product, for example, I'm helping someone prepare for a specific event. So it's their, their exam sessions. Other people in my industry actually charge a monthly fee for their sort of tests, but I don't believe it's appropriate for this sort of system because like if someone has, you know, they, they're actually aware enough to start preparing for their exams nine months ahead versus someone that's preparing a month ahead, the person who's preparing nine months out shouldn't have to pay nine times as much just because they're spreading out their training versus someone you know within a month and then just uses all the training. I don't think it's fair. So uh, membership sites are great as ongoing when there's ongoing value, but um, ongoing access to a product that stays the same, I don't know. Um, in this case, I'm not comfortable with it. However, um, you'll see on the actual, um, if I go back to it on the actual website, what I realized with Thrivecart you can do is something called split payments. So I can offer these programs and say, hey, it's say the pilot level again, just to keep a consistent example. I can say this is $300, which is three payments of $99.95, or you can pay up front, save 25%. So they can pay it off over three months. So it's still a membership site in that sense that it's like a, it's a subscription, if you like, for three months, but then it ends. Um, and we're not charging people different amounts depending on how long they choose to, to use the product for. So that's something cool that you can do with Thrivecart as well, which is the split payment option. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to say about Thrivecart, which is cool. Yes, you can have unlimited Stripe accounts and PayPal accounts with Thrivecart, which is why I'm using it. So uh, it just means you can build multiple businesses off it and not have to keep paying for more accounts. So, hope that video was useful for you. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. Again, I'm not technical support for any of these people. Uh, this is just a video to show you what I do, uh, particularly with Thrive Apprentice. Um, yeah, if this was helpful, not helpful, let me know. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thank you again, and thanks as always to the uh, Ask Method team uh, for the community here.